Okay guys, welcome back to part two of this Conversation Street special for a preview of Need for Speed. Uh, if, so if, you seen part one, if, you, if you haven't seen part one already, uh, then please check that one out first, and then this next part will make so much more sense. Um, yeah. So, if you recall the last episode, we got as far as... Uh, the uh, Fords. The, the Ford Roadster Beck Customs. Which is the last one, which now we move on to Honda. Now, just to point out to you real quick, if you can look at the list, there are two cars that are exactly the same. One's got an extra spec, and they're different models. So, if you could point out the year for these models as well, please, that would be awesome. Yes. Uh, first off is the Honda Civic Type R, but the 2000 version. Yeah, which, the year 2000, yep. Yep, which is 58,100 off road and race. Yep. Uh, yeah, and then the, the same, Civic Type R, same car, but different year, which is 2015. 2015, and it's got one extra spec. That's basically yeah. and it. Which it's, is it is 75,350. Lovely. Now, unlike the Acura NSX, I believe there was a Nissan SNX, uh, SNX, uh, yeah, as well, but not in Nissan, don't think. Well, Right, uh. We have the Honda NSX Type R, which is 109,300 for a drift That's and nice. race. Ooh. Now, one of, one of my personal favourites. Now, this is uh, another starter car from this list, a Honda S2000, which is 61,500, drag, drift and race. Now, there's only one car in the whole game that starts with the letter J. And it's the oh, mm, it's the Jaguar F Type R Coupe mm. for drag got drift. The as well, wasn't it? <laughs> drag drift the race, and it's one hundred and thirty-seven thousand seven hundred and fifty. Now this next car is not the most. It's, it's one of the most expensive cars in the game, but not only that, it's also one of the nicest, and for the first time ever, especially if you play Forza, you'll know what I'm talking about. For the first time ever, we actually get to drive it for free. And what I mean by free is we don't have to pay for it from the stores. So from Xbox or PlayStation, you just play through the game as normal, earn your money, go and buy it. Simple. So that's what I call driving a car for free. Oh, well, Josh, what's in that car? The Koenigsegg Regiera. Yes, he's got it. Well done. <laughs> well done. It is drag and race, yes. and it is cost uh, one million one hundred and fifty thousand. That's a lot. Wow, that's expensive. Technically, the real life version is actually more expensive. I, I think in real life, I'm not too sure, but apparently it's rumored to be about two point eight million. Mm. Now the coupe part of this next car actually. There is no, there is no, I don't think there is a coupe out of it. There's the 2012 model when it first came out, the 2012 model, and then in Forza Motorsport, no, sorry, Forza Horizon 3, there's the 2006 model, which was the, uh, 2016, sorry, 2016 model, uh, the Super Velocity. But this one is the original. Josh, what is that car? Well, we now move on to the Lamborghini Aventador. Yes. A drag drift race, which is, which is five hundred and sixty-three thousand eight hundred. Now, Josh, if you just tell what I said back there, SV stands for Super Veloce. It's all Italian, and the next car is a Super Veloce. Yes, it is the Lamborghini Diablo, which Super is Veloce. Super Veloce, which is drag mm. drift race, two hundred and forty-two thousand eight hundred and fifty. Yes. Now, the last two Lamborghinis on this list. Now, a lot in the last Need Speed game in 2015, a lot of people had it, but a lot of people complained about this car because they say it was the most overpowered car in the whole game. It was dri it drifted like anything, and the speed I think was part of, on, on me personally on the game. I never had one. But from the rumours that I've heard, I think it did about 240 miles an hour. 
which made it the fastest car in the game. In the old mm. Leafs speed. But we now have a few more. And I, I believe that is the Hurricane Porsche. The All Lamborghini right. Hurricane. Mm. Mm. Which is 304,100. Hmm. I'm not considered buying them. Hmm. So, on to the last Lamborghini on the list is the Lamborghini. One of my, another one of my personal favorites. Is the Lamborghini Murcielago. 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 Do you apologize for the pronunciation? Which is 384,600. Ouch! Ouch! That's bad. Now, these next two are just two of my personal favourites. Yep, uh, another starter car on the list. It's the Land Rover Defender 110. Mm -hmm. I believe, or what you know, it's either the modern version or the 1997 model. We'll find out. I think it's the modern one. We'll see if I, we'll find out something. Yep, it um, is valued at thirty thousand seven hundred fifty. And we move on to the Lotus Exige S. Exige S, which is eighty-seven thousand three hundred and fifty. That's decent. That is. That's decent. Now the next two cars. Uh, again, ex uh, again, yeah. exactly the same. Which is a different year. Yes. So, like so it's the Mazda MX-5, but we start with the 1996 version, which is yeah. 38,900. Not, not bad. And then we go to the same car, but the 2015 version, which is mm. 42,850. And the only difference between them, the 1996 version, has one more uh, spec than the uh, 2015 model, which are for the 1996 model, drift, off-road and race, and the 2015 model only has drive, drift and race. Yes. No. Now this next car, this next car, if you can, and you remember how it goes off the top of your head, like the BMW M3, uh, M3 E46, which can be done up as the M3 GTR from most wanted and carbon. Speaking of new speed carbon, you could do this one up in the style of Kenji from carbon, the green, iconic green Mazda RX-7 from new speed carbon. So Josh, new speed carbon edition uh, RX-7, well as I like to call it, or is it anyway? The Mazda RX-7 Spirit R, 84,350. Now, now, we uh, move on. Race and yes. Now, we only have two cars uh, for McLaren. Yes, hopefully that was some more in the, in the, in the, in the DLC, hopefully. Hmm. Well, we'll see. But we well, start off... Sure we start off with the McLaren 570S, yes. which costs 180,550. And the specs are drag, drift, and race. Now, now this one has this appeared one on our again Grand Tour. Was, again, <laughs> was driven, again, was driven by me. And if you can find the dark purple colour that Jeremy had it in, paint the car, paint the rims black. Hey presto, you've done a tribute to the Grand Tour. Yes, it's the McLaren P1. Oh yes! yes. I cannot wait! I cannot wait to put this car along that track. Along that track. Yes. Along that airport strip. Because that is the most iconic car in the world. Along that track. And the total value, 653,000. Actually, that is not bad for a McLaren. Mm. That is not bad at all. Because I've had game, I've had, I think in Forza, I think it's gone between 700,000 and almost 900,000. Something like that. The, uh, I looked for definite when it first came out in Forza Motorsport 5, it had a price tag of 720,000 credits. Yep. Now, we move on to the Mercedes. 
and we start off with the AMG A45. Which I believe is a hot hatch, hot hatch car. And that's 88,700. Not bad, not bad. And it's a Mercedes AMG, but G63. Yes, AMG 63, yes. Which is 122,400. Ooh, yes. Oh, and you'll see if you reset the specs on that one, so it's the uh, off road and. Uh, off road and runner. Now, the Mercedes AMG GT. 134,350 with drag, drift, and race. That's the one that's it for the uh, Mercedes. Yes. Now, uh, we move on to the Mercury Cougar. Is it the Cougar? Cougar? Oh, I think it's Cougar. Yeah, Cougar, Cougar. yes. Uh, that, that's C O R uh, C O U G A R. I with believe it's something from the 1950s, I think. Yes, and that's 60,000. 60, 100 for drag drift off road and race now this next car uh, for, from what we've heard though from, from the minute it was announced one thing that we knew for definite is need speed payback takes its inspiration from fast and furious so a lot of these cars you can easily do up as fast and furious cars and this next car is a perfect example gosh what is that car mitsubishi Mitsubishi. Mitsubishi. Josh, Mitsubishi. Mi Mitsubishi. I always keep getting that stuff. Lancer. Lancer Evolution. Evolution. IX. Or Evo for short. Evo. Lancer Evo. Which I think is 11, I think. Or is that double X? It's XI. Or the, uh, uh, IX. It's yep. IX. So I think we might. Uh, is Correct. it double X? The 12? I think, I think it's one or the other. Right. Go. That's 75,750 off-road race and runner. Mm -hmm. We then move on yep. to the to Nissan. Nissan. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. <laughs> Which is, we've got, we've got the 180 SX Type X. 56,450 50, drag, drift and race. Mm -hmm. Now, on. again, again, we have a Fast and Furious car in this list. For those of you who are fans of Tokyo Drift, bring on Takashi. And if you are fans of Need for Speed, you can do the first car you own from Need for Speed Underground 2. Are yes, on? Nissan 350Z, 77,500 drag drift race. Not bad. Mm -hmm. Now, this car... Now, is it's a, also a, it's sorry, a Dalvin. Yeah. Uh, I can't even get that word right. Yep. So you have to find it basically. And I believe it's from 1970. Yep. It's the <laughs> Nissan Fair Lady uh, mm -hmm. two, 240 ZG. 240 ZG. 240 ZG. Mm -hmm. uh, 43,150. Drag, drift, off the road, race, and runner. Yeah, so basically. I think we're almost down. I think we're almost down the list. Now again, these uh, actually these next one, two, oh, hang on, uh, hang on, one, two, three. I believe these next three are all from Fast and Furious, and they can all be done up as a Fast and Furious car in some way. And I think mm. three of them were driven by Paul Walker, and like we did in GTA. Yeah, not like we did in GTA. At some point. When we unlock them, we will most definitely do a tribute to Paul with all three of them. So mm. also, as we are down, going down this part of the list, just think of Paul. Paul, we wish you were here, mate. Yeah. No, that's not possible. Sorry, Paul. Just rest in peace, mate. Rest in peace, mate. We so, all love you. As we continue down this list, we'll do this for you, mate. So, Josh, what are those cars by Paul? The Nissan GTR Premium. Yes, which I, uh, the 2000 GTR Premium, I think, is the, uh, I think it might be the modern one that he drove, that he drove in Fast and Furious set. I think it was one of the last cars he ever drove in Fast and Furious. Yep. 
which is a hundred. As, as it goes, I think as it goes, the last scene that he ever did uh, was the was uh, the scene in the city, and then uh, when we go to the next scene, he's on the beach with Mia and his son, and then that's when uh, Charlie Pierce scene will see you again. That was mm. technically his brother. So I think this part what Josh has just done was the scene before that, which I think was the last ever car that Paul Walker ever drove in Fast and Furious before he died. So we'll yep. definitely do that one. It's 143,150. Drag, drift and race. Yes, that, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Now this next one, again, is from Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift, which is, I believe is driven by Sean. Uh, in need to be, uh, in, in, you know, you can use it in Forza as well. And that's the Sylvia, the Nissan Sylvia Spec R area, which is the Christchurch. 61,100, drag, drift, and race. Now, this next one, I believe, is the 1992 model. I think it was 1992 model, uh, the Fat Number, probably the one the most iconic Paul Walker cars in the whole series. Mm. By far. And I, I also used to own one in the in the uh, New Speed 2015 as well. And you've seen it uh, in, was it, was it season one or two? Uh, season one, wasn't it? Season one, yeah. Season one. Uh, a very long time ago. So if you haven't seen that video and we've got a little tribute to Paul, check it out if you haven't seen that video already. I'm Josh's channel. Yep. So, continuing the tribute to Paul. What is that called, eh? Nissan Skyline 2000 GTR. Mm. Which is a hundred thousand. There, it's an 850. Yep. And it's got wow. all the specs. All the specs. Drag, drift, off road, race, and runner. Mm. Ah, well, I've just realised something. I believe it's the 1999 model that Paul Walker had, I think. But these are the last two. And they're both in the 1990s. Yep. Starting with the Nissan. The yep. Nissan. Nissan Skyline GTR V Spec 1993 mm -hmm. version is 88,700 drag, off road, and race. Mm -hmm. And then exactly the same specs for the 1999 version, but the only difference is it's 92,850. Yep. Now, this next car. He's, he's actually, apparent, apparently, it is the most expensive car in the whole game, alongside the Koenigsegg, but it is apparently the most expensive car in the whole game, and it is brand new, it's 2016. We I think we first saw it in Forza Horizon 3, as a DLC, and mm. it is the Huyra, where the, I, I believe it's, I've heard that it's pronounced Huyra, uh, Huyra BC, and that's 7,043,700. Oh, <laughs> So, which only leaves the price, which is, Josh? 70,250. Now, so that, now, I say this like it's a bad thing, but just like the current say for Regera, for once, if you're, if you're a fan of Forza, I'm going to say this, for once, just like the current say for Regera, you actually get to drive all these, all these next few cars that we're going to name, uh, the next, actually there's quite a few actually, uh, oh god, okay. Uh, the next lot, uh, apart from the credits, you get to drive them for free. Thank you, Need for Speed. Thank you. So, Josh, Porsches. Uh, yep. Very good Hammond voice I had, because Richard Hammond loves Porsches. Especially the one at the bottom of the list. So, Josh, first port on the list, please. Is the Porsche 911 Carrera S991? One of my favourites. One of my favourites from Most Wanted. One of my personal favourites. Which? And the choice? 
117,850 drift race runner. Now, I believe this one is exactly the same, but what the numbers in brackets actually mean, we don't know. There's the 991, 991 there's the 993 on this one, and it's a little cheaper. Yes, 96,200 with the same specs as the 991. Yes. Now, Richard's, now, he, he says that he hates it, but secretly, uh, if you know, if you've seen one of the episodes of the Grand Tour, you'll know what I'm talking about. But Jeremy hates this car. He hates it with a passion. Me personally, I love it. It sounds beautiful. And it's just amazing. And I believe Richard Hammond which actually owns one. And surprisingly he hasn't crashed it yet. Which is the GT3 RS. It is beautiful. And I am definitely buying one of these. Which is 168,100. I am definitely buying that. Yep, drag, now, drift, and race. Yes, drag, drift, and race. Thank you, Josh. Now, this next one I don't think I've heard of. And 2.8, I believe, is the engine size. Yep, so, that's the Porsche 911 RSR. RSR, yes. Which is 160. Yes, 160,000. 160,950. Oh, yeah, sorry, that's my bad. Sorry. Thanks for correcting me, Josh. And it has all the specs. Except runner. Now, the probably the most expensive Porsche on the entire list, and it featured in the first ever episode of the Grand Tour and the last episode. And let's just say when Richard Hammond put it up against the original Veyron Super, the, the original Bugatti Veyron, let's just say it was neck and neck with a Bugatti. So if this is just as fast as a Bugatti, we're in for a surprise. And it is one of, it, it is so beautiful. It is unreal. Mm. It appeared in the t reboot 2012 version of Nukes You Guys Wanted. And it is just goddamn beautiful. If you disagree, okay, people have their opinions. But if you agree, then give this video a like, because I love this car. And somehow, if we can make millions in this game, I am definitely, most definitely getting one of these. And yep. I'm going to make sure that it just wipes everyone out. Josh, please name my favourite Porsche ever. Please. The just Porsche 918 Spider. Oh, yes! My favourite Porsche. I love it. Woohoo! And the price now, it is what it is one of the most expensive cars in the game. But not only that, it is most definitely the most expensive Porsche in the game, which is Josh. Five hundred and ninety-six thousand seven hundred. What? What? Oh my God! <laughs> Five hundred and ninety-six thousand seven hundred. Oh my God! Drag and Woo! race. <sighs> Jesus. Now, this next one, I'm hoping, can be done up as Barons from the Three Most Wanted. Like this member number 10. Brilliant. Next. The Porsche Cayman GT4. 114,450. Drift race. Mm. Now, then... the last Porsche on the list, again, I think, first appeared in the 2012 Needs to be Most Wanted and has also appeared in Forza Horizon 3 but as a DLC and it is the last Porsche on the list and it's a very nice one actually Don't Josh, what is that? the Porsche Panamera Turbo No, I've got some sad news for this next car if it's based on the Forza Horizon first Forza Horizon Viper then hey presto for all the Horizon fans well, I would most personally like to do it up as Joe Vega from Most Wanted, aka JV, Blacklist Member Number Four. Uh, so if that's the case, I'm sorry, but it is one of my favourites, and I do like it. Hence the Banshee from GTA, and that mm. is the SRT Viper. 
with a price tag of 138,700 and all the slots except runner. And off road. Yes, except Oh, and off road, sorry, yes, and off road. Now, again, this next one is one of my favourites because it was one of the first ever cars I bought in the last Nip Speed game, which is the Subaru BRZ, if you're talking GTA, aka the ETR one. Which is not not actually not a bad price, I have to admit. The price is decent. Mm. If you are a person who, say if you've got one car in your garage and you think, this car isn't fast enough, I need a new car. I would turn to the BRZ, because it, the price is decent. Josh, is that 50, 51,300, drift, off-road and race. Now, this next one is based on the rally version. Yep, this is the... the yep, the Impreza. The Impreza. Mm. Which is 69,100. Off-road, race and runner. Mm -hmm. And now, normally, if you've noticed, they've got enough better for order. So, count the letters down to S. <coughs> Excuse me. From S down to the end of the alphabet, you'll find that there are no more cars left. So, from S... We go straight to the last, straight to the last three cars of this list. Uh, the last four cars, sorry. The last, well, four or five at least, actually. Why are we just going with it? And then I'll put that at the end of this video. The Volkswagen Beetle, which is 30,300. Yes, which yes, is Volkswagen. All specs, but is a derelict. Yeah. Yes, and... Yes, Josh, you did pronounce it correctly. It is Volks if you are German, it is Volkswagen. But if you're English, now, a lot of people might laugh at us British for this, but we pronounce it as Volkswagen. 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 That's if you're British. Americans, you might be the same. But apologies to any Germans offended, but that's just us in the British accent. This mm. next car is also a Volkswagen. And, hopefully, I, if this car is what I think it is, I'm going to be very happy. Because it was one of my favourite cars from Need for Speed. For the first ever blacklist member on the list of Need for Speed Most Wanted, Sonny. Sonny and his uh, Golf GTI. Yes. Uh, actually, this one's the Club Sport Edition. Uh, the Club Sport Edition. And the next, uh, yeah, the Club Sport. Which is what the show? 67,300 off road and race. Now, this next one I'm hoping is sunny. So, I've already mentioned it, Josh. So, all you need to do is the price and the specs, please. Yes, uh, starter car as, as well. 33,800 yeah. off road and race. Now, these now are, are, uh, for the people that have pre ordered the Legacy Edition, I've heard rumours that these next two, uh, I think it's just this one actually, just this next car. For some reason, isn't available in race tuners, and some people have searched the whole of uh, the, the I forgot what it's called uh, the new area, the uh, Fortune, the whole of Fortune Valley for this, and it turns out it's only an off-road. Uh, I think it's rumoured it's only in off-road, uh, off-road tuners. Well, I think that's an experiment we have to try ourselves. So Josh, what is that? It's the Volvo 242 DL. Yeah. 31,800. Drag, drift, off road, race, and runner. Now, we're finally here. So, no, it's, I, know, I know it's been it's, it's been a long video. I know this these last two episodes have been us just jabbering on. But this is a, this is a, this two episodes are especially for people like us, like me and Josh. Who haven't pre ordered the game and are looking forward to it, which is this Friday. This is just for you guys. So, we are finally here. The last and final car on this list. Josh, what is that car? The Volvo Amazon P130. And no, I don't mean Amazon Prime. Sorry, no. James. Sorry, Jeremy. Sorry, Richard. Oh, well. Next. Which is 29,900 and has all the specs. Josh, guess what? 
We've made two it. Two parts. We've made it. Yeah, two parts and we've done it. So, that's over. I should think. How many cars do you think's there? Oh, about over, over 25. Say about. Over 25 cars. Plus, I should think, running into the new year uh, and into uh, spring and summer next year, we mo should most definitely have some kind of DLC. We mm. most definitely will have some DLC cars. And if you've noticed, something that really pissed me off about this game is there are no Bugattis whatsoever. What? No Bugattis! What? <laughs> Seriously? No Bugattis! Come on! <laughs> Another thing! No Ferraris! First one, there was no Ferraris in that list. Josh, did you see any Ferraris in that list? I, I, could, I, I couldn't see one. <laughs> Not even one of Ferrari! Not even one of my favourite Ferraris of all time. The FFX... The FFXK. Uh, the FX... The FXXK. I think, yeah, FX... Yeah, FXXK. Hmm. No, what? Unless they do come out in a DLC. Yeah, yeah, it's what are you doing? No Ferraris and no Bugattis. That's my only complaint. Mm. Other I'm... than that, I can't wait. <laughs> oh my god. So, as you guys should already know by now, for those of you who didn't pre order the deluxe edition, if you did, it is out now. Go and buy it. Brilliant. Have fun. Enjoy it. Buy all them cars. Which one's your favourites? I'll show you a few. I, I love all of them actually. I love all of them. Most definitely love all of them. And then unfortunately for me and Josh, we have to race another 48 hours. So, what, 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 we, what we plan to do? What we plan to do? First of all, uh, Josh, if, you're here, if I have any corrections, can you correct me? Uh, so we have the release date on Friday the 10th, which is this week, literally 14 hours away. Me and Josh hope to buy our first car, uh, separate cars, so we have a different car to take along our drag test, our drag strip, which is the airport. And this is another experiment we're going to do. We're going to try and find a little racetrack for our time lapse. Because what we're going to do, I think we've, we've, between us in our spare time, we have decided that we're going, because this is based on the Grand Tour, right? Because we've done the intro to the Grand Tour, and we've done Conversation Street, which is what we're doing now, right? So, we are definitely going to continue this, and you have to be paid back. However, this will be the last ever episode, but with a twist. For a long time, that is the twist. For a long time. Because at the moment, I have $221,480. And Josh has what? 1,090,166. And the new Batmobile that came out last week is like 3.7 million, making it the most expensive car in the game. So mm. sorry, Proto, but we've just not lost that side. So, those, so the main thing is buy, a, buy our first car, find our uh, circuit track for our lap times, and more importantly, Test out. You know, if, if this is if this, if this is if online free roam is the way we think it's going to be, uh, and at last but not least, test our drag strip. We might have a few one-on-one -on -one drag races, something we've never done before. But then most definitely, one car will be parked to the side, the other one will go and do its time lap. Mm. So we'll definitely stick to that. And unfortunately, because this is a conversation street special, we would normally take the piss out of Top Gear. But like, tonight, we talk about Need for Speed. <laughs> but unfortunately, due to the long list of cars, I don't think we'll have time for that, unfortunately. So the last time that we'll do this will be now, unfortunately. Uh, which actually was actually in the last episode. Which I, uh, Josh, have you. No, uh, not the last episode. The episode before that one. Uh, just did you upload that one? Uh, not yet. I'm afraid. So that one will definitely come soon. Uh, before these two, Josh, if you can. So it makes more sense. Yeah. Um, and that's it. That will, that, so that last episode, uh, before the last episode, this is part two. From part one. Uh, 
the episode before that will be the last time that we have done our top three review. So the next time we'll do this, if we can fit it in, which I'm sure we will, will be Friday's episode. A very special, a very, 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 very special episode on Friday, which will bring us the day we have been waiting for. I just can't, I just can't wait. I, I, I wish I was doing that. So I get the deal to this. I mean, we, 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 do, we, we literally do it today, but <laughs> we can't because I'm proud of it. <laughs> so, uh, Josh, I think I've got, I think I've got this episode. I think I've got this episode. It's the end of our episode. Is that, is that time of day again? Oh, Where no. We end the conversation space. So, thank you, conversation space. We'll see you in a very couple of days' time. Thank you, Quantum Station Street. We'll see you in a couple of days' time. Actually, less than a couple of days because it's just under 48 hours. Mm -hmm. Yes, just under 48 hours. Now, normally we would take the piss out of Tokyo, but unfortunately, I don't think we have yep. time. Unfortunately, no, it's so, great. Gosh, Yet I think for a long time, for a little while, this is going to be the last GTA episode we do. So, on that last note, and more importantly, the last episode we'll do for a while, can I, yet again, as I always do, thank you again for being the host of this series. Thank you. And, thank you. more importantly, playing the part of Captain Slow. Thank you. Brilliant. Thank you. Oh, and also looking like, and looking like you as well. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> yes, um, and I should think you think the same about me, actually. Uh, well, yes. Well, I've actually done quite a lot more. Uh, I, I've done some of the research for this as well. I've just passed it on to Josh. So, really, I should thank myself <laughs> for the research. Being our designated driver, as well, unfortunately, well, normally we, we would say, that we, uh, well normally if you look behind us, uh, actually depending on which way the camera's facing, if you look in front of us, you'll see the Ferrari, which was done quite a few episodes ago. Now I would normally say that we'd hand this car on to our time racing driver. Some say that he wears spandex under his uh, race suit. Some say that he's never smoked a cigarette in his life. Mm. That's good. It might, well, actually he can't because he's got a hand. But all we know is, he's called the Stig. But unfortunately, how many people can you see? Oh, hello. <laughs> James? What, where's James come? Oh my God, he's invisible. Why's the Stig just turned up? James? Hello. James, <laughs> hello. James where's you go? You disappeared. Oh, I just popped out and then uh, uh, the stick just popped in. Oh, okay, good. So, but then again, as we're talking to the answer, we hand it over to America. Mm. Well, <laughs> I think on that note, so as I've been the designated driver, I should think Josh thanks me more than anything for doing that. More, more, more than anything. But then I also, again, one more thing, thank Josh for being in charge of the laps. Josh times the laps. We do them. We put them on our page, on that little page we created to keep it for our personal use. Then we just tell we you guys the times in those episodes. And because the cars are real, it needs to be payback. Hopefully the lap times will be more accurate than GTA. Definitely. So on that note, on that note, and on that bombshell, I think from me, it's a goodbye. No well, goodbye guys. And we will definitely gosh this is a definite, right? Yes. So get these uploaded quickly. Right? I'm definite. I'll definitely see you Friday. No, so, goodbye from me until Friday. See you soon. And it's and a goodbye course, from me. Yes, thank you. So, goodbye. on that bombshell, it's time to end. And as this current time in the UK is 22 minutes past 8 o'clock, I am going to say, on that bombshell, it's time to end. Good night. See you Friday.